Welcome, my Macros fans, to another episode of That Whim, automating the web with iMacros. Today, I wanted to go back and revisit something from my last video where I did the performance test between the various versions of, versions of iMacros. And one of the things that stood out the most to me there was how big of a difference in performance there was between playing a macro in iMacros for Chrome when the sidebar is open and displayed versus when the sidebar is closed. And it was quite a significant difference. Um, you can go back and, and watch that section of the video. If I remember correctly, it was something like 23 seconds when the sidebar was open and it took a little over 12 seconds or around 13 seconds when the sidebar was closed. So that's a significant impact on performance from having that UI visible and being constantly updated. And what I wanted to do in this video was just dive in to how I was able to run that test with the sidebar closed because it's, it's currently not supported in um, the current release of iMacros or even in iMacros 12.6, but there is a patch that you can apply that will give you this extra functionality and also it also um, takes care of some other errors and issues with specifically with scripting the web extensions. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so if I go out to the iMacros wiki and look at the release notes for the release of iMacros for Chrome um, back in September, last September of 2020, you'll, you'll, you may or may not have noticed that there are a couple of items here. Um, one mentions that IIM open when specifying false to the second parameter there in order to attach to an existing browser, um, that that function was, that functionality was not working, um, but that it's fixed with this release of iMacros for Chrome back in September. And also you see it says added support for this simple UI option when launching with the scripting interface. And you'll also notice that there's a couple of asterisks here, a couple of footnotes, and it says that these changes require related updates uh, to both file access uh, and the iMacros Enterprise scripting interface. So this is what we're going to go ahead and click this here to download that's going to download a zip file which contains these these uh, the patch that we want to apply to the iMacro scripting interface. Now, before I actually go ahead and apply that patch, I want to show you what the current behavior looks like. So let me just um, I have a test script here, and let's just do. Uh, we'll just do IIM open and launch Chrome and we'll attempt to attach to an existing instance and we'll play the demo fill form macro. So with no patch applied, just with the stock iMacros and I, I have iMacros 2021, so the very latest version of iMacros installed on here. And we'll run that little test script. So here you see that it launched a new instance of the browser. And even though we specified false in that parameter to tell it to attach to an existing instance, since there was no existing instance, it went ahead and started a new one. That's what we would expect it to do. But now if I run this a second time, I would expect it to attach to this existing instance and play the macro again there. But watch what happens now when we try to run this again. It launched a new instance of the browser. So that's one of the things that gets fixed with this patch and that's been a long time annoyance of mine is that this never worked because it makes testing long scripts much more difficult. If uh, it's always opening a new browser instance, you can't just play from where you were in the existing instance, you always have to start over. So that was a real headache. I'm glad to see that that got fixed. And of course, the other thing is that the when we launch from a script, with, yeah, when we launch iMacros for Chrome using IIM open, the sidebar always pops open and displays. There's no way to control that. 
Now, prior to that release of iMacros for Chrome in September, the sidebar was not open by default. It behaved more like Firefox does. And I can show you how that works quickly. So if we come in here and change this to be Firefox now, And what you'll see is there's no sidebar displayed, but you'll see that the iMacros iMac icon changes up here as it plays the macro. So that behavior was changed and um, don't know exactly why. I would think that perhaps uh, maybe some people complained and said that they prefer to always see the sidebar display when they're launching from a script or when they're playing a macro. Um, but maybe they weren't aware of the performance penalty that you're taking by doing that. And so this update to the scripting interface adds this new simple UI command line parameter that we can pass in to more or less suppress the sidebar from, from opening so that it will behave like it did before. Now, that's not going to do anything now because I haven't actually applied the patch. If I try to run this, uh, well, it's going to run, first of all, Firefox, which it's already uh, closed by default. Let's change this back to Chrome now and shut that Firefox down. Okay, so here I'm running in Chrome, and that parameter, you know, it doesn't do anything because we don't have the patch applied yet. So let's go ahead and apply the patch now. So that got downloaded to my downloads. And let's go ahead and just unzip here. And then you just want to click into the folder where you extract the files. And always oh, a good idea to run the readme first. I've already done it. Not run the readme, but read the readme. Um, to install the patch, we just go ahead and launch run this install.command file. Now you want to be you want to run this as administrator. Um, I'm already logged in as administrator, so it really doesn't matter. But um, yeah, this will just tell you briefly what it's about to do. And all it does is copy the necessary files, um, puts them in the right places. It makes backups of your original copies of those files. And in my case, since I have both iMacros 2021 and 12.6 installed on this machine, it actually updated those files in both places, which is kind of nice. So let's go ahead and run the test again, right? We're, we're set up to run it in Chrome and we're now we're specifying the simple UI. So when we run this now, Chrome should start, the macro should play and we don't ever see the sidebar. So that is the tip for today um, in this video. That's really all there is to it. If you want to get that patch and apply it, you can simply go to the iMacros wiki, wiki.imacros.net, and just open up the iMacros for Chrome page. And then here in version history, for the version 10.1 release, that's where you will find the link to download that patch. Hey, this is the iMacros guru saying thanks for stopping by the channel and checking out the video. If you found this content useful, then stick around for more tips, tricks, and inside scoop on automating the web with iMacros.